Are we losing our leverage with China when it comes to trade? Let's bring back our Fox panel to hash it out. And we have, of course, Atlanta radio host from WSB, Herman Cain, former chairman of the Kansas City Federal Reserve, with us along with Mike Norman and Peter Schiff and Nicole Ridgway from SmartMoney.com. Um, Herman, what do you think? Are we handling this China issue properly? All of the things that Secretary Paulson is addressing with the Chinese, that's just half of the issue. The biggest issue as to why we may be losing our competitiveness with China is our national debt. It is approaching $10 trillion. Now, for some people who may not remember, I know Mike Norman remembers, <laughs> a trillion <laughs> is a million million, okay? A million million, $10 trillion <laughs> debt with $500 billion in annual interest. This is where we're losing our competitiveness with China because as Congressman Duncan Hunter said in that clip, they are becoming our banker. This is where we've got to, to pull back. So Congress and the leadership in this country has got to do what it can do before it expects China to do some of the things we would like for them to do. So addressing the debt and the interest on the debt is one of our biggest challenges that we can do something about. Mike Norman. First, I'm going to respectfully disagree with my good friend Herman, Crane, uh, uh, Herman Cain because uh, the national debt, about $9 trillion, is only about 64% of our GDP. It's far lower than many other industrialized countries. I don't think that's a problem. Uh, I don't know if we ever really had much uh, influence over China. I mean, they've been doing what they wanted to do for a long time. And by the way, it's been benefiting America. It's been benefiting our economy. Uh, we've been able to tap into that vast pool of cheap labor. We have access to cheap products. It's helped to raise our standard of living here in the United States. China is going to do what it needs to do simply because their policies are causing distortions in their own economy. You see now inflation running at an 18-year high in China. They're going to have to let their currency rise. And in fact, they are letting their currency rise, but they don't have the financial infrastructure there to just allow it to go overnight, a sort of cold turkey type of thing. But it'll happen. Jim, what do you think? Well, I think Herman's right that there's more things we can do to be competitive. But I think it has to do more with tax policy than it does with the national debt. But listen, our greatest foreign policy challenge, other than the war on terror, is managing this economic relationship with China. We want the Chinese economy to grow. We want to keep growing at a fast rate. So eventually, those people become consumers who can buy our products. I mean, that's not happening right now because they're not rich enough. But that day will come. We just need to be patient. Peter, is it our relationship with China or, as Herman says, our relationship with our own debt that that we should be worried about. Well, look, we got a lot of problems. You know, Liz said that you know we are, are the Chinese buying American products. I mean, I'm an American. I don't even think I have any American products in my house. Why would, should we expect the Chinese to? You know, the whole argument is ridiculous. What the Chinese need to do is let their currency appreciate. That's the best thing that can happen for their economy because then the Chinese can afford to buy their own products, and we would be stuck with just a bunch of paper money. I mean, they're buying all our bonds and buying all our dollars. I don't even understand why we're Peter, arguing with them. The, the, we, the rapid the Go ahead. We, 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 Jim, we, go ahead. Let Jim, let Jim respond. I'll say, listen, the, the rap, there are some, I mean, China's currency is appreciating slowly. It's probably going to keep appreciating 5, 6, 7 percent a year. But the rapid appreciation of the Chinese currency would wreck that economy. No, that is the last thing we no, need. It's less than the global economy. It would, you could actually have the, you actually have a breakup of China. It, if you it think would, that, that's a foreign policy it, disaster. It would wreck our economy. Look, they, they would get wealthier. Their currency goes, going up means the Chinese get wealthier. They they can afford to consume more. Think prices go down for them. No, the Chinese you, economy, right. yeah, Peter, listen, right. the Chinese economy is driven in large part by exports. That's if they would allow their currency to Mike, appreciate Mike. in a fashion that, wait a minute, Peter, if they're allowed to uh, let their currency appreciate in a fashion that you're suggesting right here, it would destroy their economy. Right. No, Jim is right. absolutely Mike, correct. You guys, you get here the last word because we've run out of time. Peter, I know you want to get in there, but we don't have the time.